Malcolm Brogdon saying, please keep me here. And I won't asking for a call to action right now. Besides hit that like and subscribe button. If you're a Blazers fan, do you want to keep him? I understand wanting to cash in on the draft picks you could get from him. But Mark Stein of the Stein line has said that Malcolm Brogdon has been openly lobbying to the Trailblazers to keep him beyond Thursday's trade deadline. Long considered one of the most likely players to be traded after landing in Portland before the season when acquired Drew Holiday from the Blazers. It's seemingly like Brogdon, who's are currently averaging just under 16 points, four rebounds and five and a half assists while shooting 41% from three is a man that people around the league like. And we know that with being on a team where they're trying to go for a championship run sooner rather than later. The Houston Rockets have said they've had interest. We do know that teams like the Lakers and the Knicks also have interest in Malcolm Brogdon. Brogdon saying, please, please don't trade me. Please don't trade me. He likes it there. He's enjoying himself. And we know Joe Cronin will do whatever he wants. He obviously loves to uh, you know, listen to his players' requests. The Blazers are the 14th in the standings in the West. They're the second worst offense in the league. Surprisingly, they're the ninth worst defense in the league. Their net rating is minus 8.3, which is fifth worst. While for them, I think it's definitely interesting the the C that they they're a bottom three point shooting team. They're they're actually really good at offensive rebounding and getting steals, but yeah, I mean, I think Malcolm Brogdon likes being a leader. He's a guy who can do a little bit of everything, but he's under contract for next year, and they, they could cash in from trading him. So I, I do think that's the, the interesting part is do you pass up on the fact that you can cash in on trading this guy, or do you say F it and go out and keep him, wait till the offseason when his value is going to get lower? Because right now at the deadline, teams could be desperate and offer a bit more money than they normally would or a bit more assets than they normally would. So that's my only thought. And Knicks could give you Quinn Grimes and Evan Fournier, it seems like. And the Lakers, D'Angelo Russell and Jalen hood Shafino, Both not like the greatest deals, but I don't even know if they, either of those guys are available. But like money-wise, it all makes sense. So it's definitely an interesting one that uh, looking from the outside in, I'm on the outside. I'm on the outside now. You guys like Oingo Boingo? Oingo Boingo? Oingo Boingo, right? Oingo Boingo is dope, but Oingo Boingo. That's it. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts down below. I, I definitely think it's going to be interesting to see what happens with this Malcolm Brogdon stuff. Hopefully he stays and gets his wish, man. But we'll see what Joe does.